major playlist changes for Halo 2 Classic as well as a fan favorite event returning as well as a speculated new Halo game coming in after Halo Infinite. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news information video when it comes to Halo. If you like this kind of news information of videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this, and it greatly helps out the video and channel so more people get to stay in the know with everything going on in Halo. So for this news informational video, let's start for the here and now, what's going to be going on with Halo, and then we can go into a little bit more speculation, and then after that, lead you into probably another video you might want to watch after watching this one. So for Halo 2 Classic Playlist Change, it says some major changes going on with that, as the adjusted the waiting for 4v4 to make Lockout, Midship, and Sanctuary more common, and making Foundation, Backwash, Desolation, and Tombstone less common. Adjusted the weighting in 8v8 to make the maps weighted a little bit more evenly, evenly distributed. Removed Ascension from 4v4 Auto Slayer and removed Zanzibar from 4v4 Flag and Bomb. So let's break that down a little bit. Obviously, I'm really happy about the map weighting changes right there as Lockout, Midship, and Sanctuary are kind of like the go-to maps when it comes to Halo 2 Classic. Those are the maps I think about when I think of Classic Halo 2 multiplayer. Player, those are the maps I think about. I don't necessarily think about Foundation, Backwash, Desolation, or Tombstone as much, as they just don't really play that well. They're still, you know, not too shabby of maps. Now, I know a lot of people love Backwash, and uh, Foundation is kind of like a funky original favorite kind of thing, and, but, you know, I'm glad to see those kind of play less in the rotation, as, like, those maps don't really necessarily play out the best in Halo 2 Classic, especially if also for the adjusted weighting in 8v8, because it seems like 90% of the time I'm getting waterworks when I'm playing uh, Classic BTB, so hopefully you get some more Coag in there, because Coagulation is is an amazing version of Blood Gold, so I would hopefully get to jump in and play that a little bit more often. Uh, removing Ascension for 4v4 Auto Slayer, it's like, meh, sure. I think if you're playing Auto Slayer, I don't know if you really even care about balance in a video game. That's just my opinion, though, because uh, I pretty much always deselect Auto Slayer when it comes to searching for my matches. And also removing Zanzibar from 4v4 Bomb and Flag, I think that's a good move as well, as Zanzibar is a little bit too big of a map for those kind of game modes. Slayer, they probably work out fine for 4v4. For, uh, for flag and bomb though uh, it's pretty tough to push into those ba that base to get that bomb or in or pull that flag out and it can imagine just being like a real drag trying to get through that so understandable changes right there I'm looking forward to it I've been playing a little more Halo 2 Classic since the patch and it's been playing pretty well for me so I'm definitely excited about that uh, to get a chance to play some more of my childhood memories in this awesome MCC PC greatness and also I mentioned at the top of this video there is a fan favorite event coming back that is the yapping if you guys remember back last year i think around april if i remember correctly or at least the springtime they brought in the yapping the first time which is a bunch a series of like fun just wacky kind of let's break the game kind of uh, game modes that are in uh the mcc and it's honestly it's just it's just silly fun that's all it's meant to be uh, i know a lot of some people don't like some of the game modes in it but i think they kind of lose the point that like it's not really about winning or losing i think it's more about just wacky fun and then that's kind of what the yapping is all about and you actually can earn some nameplates in game from playing the yapping so let's get right into that right here so we have the earn the shut your yap nameplate which is defeating 150 grunts with headshots in campaign firefight or spartan ops you can also earn the yap yap the destroyer nameplate by completing seven matches in the yapping game category while it's ongoing now the easiest way to complete these is obviously going into like a firefight mode turn on grunt apocalypse and just unlimited ammo and just have your fun with like a dmr basically and playing firefight that's pretty much what i did uh, with uh, my friend jimbo right there and we had a great time honestly it's just silly just blowing stuff up it's just fun and also with the uh, yeah 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 the destroyer you just gotta play seven matches pretty straightforward on that one you do have to complete them you can't just jump in and back out so you don't actually have to play the games and honestly just jump in and play them give them a try it's actually kind of a lot of fun when you actually give it a go uh this yapping event will go on until june 10th so you got some a limited amount of time to get your chance to get your nameplates in so do it while you can guys uh, remember if you got these nameplates from the last happening they're the same nameplates as last time so don't stress about it too much if you can't get your game time in before the end of uh, june 10th now with mcc news out of the way that you can probably play right now you're probably also thinking about well what about that halo infinite stuff you're talking about the post infinite game well 
Actually, recently on the Microsoft webpage, a senior producer position has opened up at 343. This is a full-time permanent position where they're looking to add somebody onto the team to, and I'll quote here, to the core service team to help develop a new project in the Halo universe. So even with Halo Infinite not quite released yet, it will come out the end of this year of 2020. They're looking forward to the future because you gotta get that ball rolling. So possibly like in two years, we might expect another Halo game coming out. Now there is no details within this job title, what kind of game it is or what kind of experience that they're looking for when it comes to games in general. I think they're looking for just like a, a senior manager producer position on this one so the only inf only information we have on this is that they're part of the core service team and they're looking to develop a new project which obviously leads to a ton of speculation of what kind of halo side games we would like to see brought into this franchise we do know that the slip space engine has been specifically designed to churn out the content way faster than we did have in halo 5 which also looking to have that s slip space engine be more of a platform to hopefully build on in the future when it comes in beyond just a first person shooter game so even though it's been since 2015 was our last halo release where i have a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot more halo games released more annually and i'm assuming that there'll be different types of games rather than just a new shooter as I'm, they're looking to have halo infinite be as a game as a service kind of model where you have continuous updates with the game my, uh, changing things adding new content in and so that's going to pretty much stay the same i'm assuming for probably about 10 years where i think they're looking to do a completely new kind of game when it comes to uh, developing a new project within the Halo universe, as they mentioned. And I have a feeling it probably would be maybe another Halo Wars game or possibly, possibly something completely different. Recently on my friend Arash's channel, he brought in a bunch of content creators talking about what kind of external games would you like to see in the Halo universe being created. Uh, my suggestion was actually the Flood Forerunner War. I think that'd be super awesome to see as you get to see the reason why the rings went off get to see the rings go off in the first place you get to see the didact in action who could pretty much replace master chief i feel in the story you also have humans and you can probably give a little bit of details of why they got handed the mantle of responsibility as well uh, my more deeper thoughts into this category i'll leave a link in the description down below and a card if you want to check it out to a rash's video really well done video with a series of different content creators giving us giving each other's opinions on what we'd like to see for a spin-off halo game but leave it in the comment section down below what would you guys like to see for a spin-off halo game i do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well so let's look forward to that but yeah halo infinite guys it's coming really soon guys july we're gonna have a huge reveal less than a month away i will definitely be streaming it on this channel and on my twitch so if you guys want to stay up to date with all the halo infinite greatness we're gonna be streaming it we're gonna be talking about it so make sure you follow the channel guys keep yourselves updated with all that awesomeness right there if you like this kind of informational video please make sure to tap that like button it really helps out the channel if you're new to the channel or miss any content for me check out the videos on the screen right now got a link to a place of all my news and information videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so so thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it and i'll catch you all in the next video peace out